Welcome back to City Skylines, everybody. I've been busy during the interval from the last episode. As you can see, I've added an extra area here, uh, comprised mainly of commercial buildings, all around this avenue here, and um, uh, some uh, residential buildings too. Uh, now, this did take a bit of fiddling around because this intersection was completely bogged down with traffic, especially from industrial uh, building, uh, industrial vehicles coming in through the center of this district right here and bogging it down. So I had to hotwire this thing via the uh, highway here and connect it up to there. Now I still need some sort of um, something to make the power jump from this side to this one. Uh, uh, nothing is powered here so it's gonna have to be done like from here. I'm still not sure. Maybe I, I can at least clean this up a bit but as you can see it's not really that easy although this seems to have jumped hold on hold on maybe I can maybe I can do this yeah the power jumped right here so we don't need that pole uh, however for this area, yeah, I still need to fill in this part. And I've also started to work on this district right here. I built a, a cargo train terminal right here and developed this little district. Incoming traffic comes through this highway over around here, uh, comes in through this side and out through that one couple of connections to our commercial district uh, and as you can see lots of work <laughs> I'm sorry to say that while I was recording the previous episode Steam decided to make some sort of an update or something and that corrupted my uh, my recording so that's why I went ahead and uh, did all of this without you seeing it now like I was trying to tell you uh, in the corrupted footage, do tell me what you think about these big uh, custom user-made buildings here in the middle of the of the European style buildings because I like them, uh, but you may find it to be may find them to be out of place. So do tell me what you think. In the meantime, we do have lots of demand for. Um, a residential zoning so uh, I believe what we're gonna do right now is trying to convert what we had as a low density residential uh, convert that into high density residential so let's uh, let's get on to it and start zoning some stuff Ooh, that actually should be zoned and uh, let's get rid of you right now uh, see if we can't get some more residents up and running. Oh, one thing I did forget is that I added this uh, department store here to try and increase the land value around here. Uh, as you can see, there are some complaints, uh, but it doesn't seem like it's helping out a lot. Uh, I did forget to get a bus stop around here so let's uh, let's do that real quick so just a little bus stop that should help out a good deal and I do want to replace these with high density so let's try to get some neato buildings around here uh, and it's a shame that we have to demolish the low density housing to uh, go for high density I wish it had a system where the new high density zoning just the new houses just grew there or the, the owners just upgraded this way I believe our education will go down by a whole lot uh, and these guys sh should start building in no time unfortunately I do believe they will have to get educated all over again we do have some complaints about lack of education uh, now, this fire should be getting taken care of. 
I do want, however, to connect this track over to this region here. Uh, hmm. Oh, one thing I could do... Well, no, these guys are already connected uh, there. I was thinking I could connect them directly to this little avenue here, uh, going to the commercial district, but that shouldn't be necessary. Let's speed up the game, see if we if we can get some of these problems worked out, especially land value and education aren't looking so hot. Uh, why did you get abandoned? Because the, the value of the land was low. Why are you getting such low land value? Do these buildings, these high density buildings, do they increase land value? Uh, they appear to. How about we place a couple of parks here? Let's try that. Or a couple of plazas, like one here and one here. That should hopefully help out with the land value. Let's plop down a couple of trees, too. Uh, let's look for... What do you say? These ones. Oh, these are tiny, tiny ones. Uh, let, let's go for the bigger ones. Like... Like this, to have a, a little border before the, the highway connection here. Actually, we can zone this area here. Oh yeah, this will get zone of, zoned eventually. Yes, it will, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Traffic is flowing, though, so that's a plus. Oh, and I plopped down this uh, Falling Pillars Plaza, uh, which I I downloaded from the workshop. It looks really, really cool. Uh, not overpowered at all. The stats are similar to other parks. Wow, that is, that is pretty cool. Uh, okay, so we're still getting some demand for industrial, but these guys are complaining about lack of workers. Let's see, 20%. These guys are only going... Oh, and these things, these guys are doing that weird thing. I want to try and get these guys to go only one way and see if I avoid them doing that little... Yeah, they're... They're shifted around. They're going in through here and going out from this side. So this should be switched around. I'll do that as soon as it becomes a problem, actually. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm still wondering, why are these guys going all the way around here just to go through there? That doesn't seem... It's quite a... Wow, th there's a lot of traffic on this road. Oh, we've reached big city. All right, we have a crematorium and the water treatment plant. What about unique buildings? Did we unlock any? The department store. Okay, we already have that. The government offices. Uh, government offices. Yeah, average garbage pileup. Uh, what do we need for the shopping center? Uh, residential area. Weekly education expenses, 30,000. All right, didn't unlock any monuments, though. Uh, however, this is bugging me quite a bit. What if, what if I hotwired these guys to go directly into the commercial district slope too steep? Yeah, I should have seen that one coming. Uh, why, why are you a thing? You should not be a thing. So let's try to hotwire these guys over to here. You know, kind of like that. Grab a couple of trees too. And just line the road. Let's, uh, let's get a couple of different ones in there. So, like that. So that this doesn't seem too similar to one another. Another couple of, of trees. Just like this. Okay, that should... 
that should work out. And let's rezone this to high density. Okay. These guys are still complaining about lack of workers. Some of them are fully upgraded, though others are not. Uh, and they all have the same buildings. Oh, we need... We need a bus stop here. We still have a couple of free spots here. So, let's see. We're gonna want... We're gonna want... Actually, what we're gonna want is to connect these two up. Just like that. Or maybe, do we want to do it from here? Maybe that... That might look better, actually. And it's still a left lane merge. Uh, okay, okay, let's grab that bus. Uh, okay, you can go away. And let's redo that. Get some buses in our commercial district. And we can go, like... One... Oh, right, these are two-way streets. So, we can do this. And this. And then this and if I want to go around I can make they will make a u-turn here that's good so I can do it like so and so yeah just go all the way around I'm guessing just like that a little zigzag there that and that and, uh, yeah, let's just do the same for every side. Yeah, that's pretty much picture perfect there. Now we can zone all the industrial we want in this area. Let's just finish up the line and connect it up to there. Very good. This should help these guys develop. Uh, they're already starting to upgrade and they're not complaining about lack of workers anymore. How's our unemployment? At 4%. Uh, let's try zoning some more industrial first. Let's zone it... I'm going to say here. Let's try to get the, the zoning up to here. Uh, I actually want... Hmm. Yeah, I want to upgrade these roads here, just not to have um, a completely... A, uh, s such a long off-ramp. I'll just upgrade these guys right here. Yeah, there you go. I like it more like that. That's all well and good. These guys should start upgrading and I should be able to now get rid of these uh, power should make the jump Ooh, it does not let's take care of take care of that okay you guys keep on developing and now let's take care of this uh, rail connection I want these guys to use the this cargo train terminal instead of uh, driving in into here. Now, where could we place a cargo train terminal in this region? In this heavily, heavily commercial region, which is actually... Hmm. Let's, uh, let's zone some more high density because we're getting some demand and instead of expanding of uh, zoning more, more regions, I'd rather have the ones that are already there to be uh, high density. Uh, we're getting some some residential demand too, so I'm guessing we're gonna do that like this. These are two-way streets, so these guys can move a, uh, can move along really nicely. And right here. All right, I just don't want these guys to be zoned, and I actually should mark that. So let's uh, let's just. Hmm, what do you say? Parks? 
Maybe uh, I'll do some parts instead of just paths marking the places where I don't want stuff to be. A uh, small park? I want park with trees. Oh, that's gigantic. Damn. Um, hmm. Large playground, 2x2 two two pavilion park. What's this one? 2x2 two two flower park. Is this screwed up? Eh, I'm not going to use the ones I made because they're very underpowered. Uh, plaza with trees. Let's build a couple of them here. And then we should have some sort of a 2x4... Two uh, hey, the 2x2 two two pavilion park will fit in really nicely here. Okay, there's still quite a bit of zoning here to be done. I'm... I want to zone uh, some things closer to the highway, so... Hmm... Oh, I can't use this now, can I? Uh, I can zone as of here. Let's uh, let's try a curvy a curvy line here. That's way too much. Let's try for three. All right, that seems good enough. Yeah, this this will work out just fine. Uh, let's get rid of of the snap tool here. Let's go up to here. And turn snap back on. And connect it up to there. Oh wow, there's a lot of traffic here. What's going on? Oh, it's it's doing this thing. Okay, this... I can't have this. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of these. Yes. Yes, get rid of those. And we're gonna need to have this thing connect to here. And we should actually just upgrade all of these roads to roads with trees. Eh, I'll upgrade this one too. Yeah, all of these should be roads with trees. I wasn't planning on zoning this. I don't know. I don't really know why. Uh, okay, plaza with trees. I can no longer fit this here. Although I can fit the 2x2... Two two. Oh, there's a, a flower park. Okay, let's see if that's screwed up. It is, and I know what the problem is. I'm gonna have to move these, these assets around. Uh, but, eh, it'll do. No, it won't. Uh, I can't have that like that. Uh, let's go with... Is this the pavilion? It is. So let's go with a couple of pavilions here. And possibly... What else can we have? Plaza with trees. Paradox Plaza and the other ones. Uh, this is all well and good, but very, very large. So I think here I'll just build a little path... Give me the paths. I'll just do this to mark out that thing and possibly even like that, surrounding the pavilion. Okay, we are getting massive industrial demand. So let's rezone that and try to get some, some more industrial going. Wow, that is a lot of traffic. Damn! Uh, not a lot of guys coming in. Oh, wow. They are just flowing. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Instead of allowing the trucks to go directly into this district, you, you'll notice that the, they're going all the way around. Even from here, they're, they're willing to make a huge uh, path all the way around here. All the way around through there to go into these places I'll um, I'll just force them to use the cargo train terminal by making a new one I am going to say maybe around here let's see where where we can place this cargo train terminal mm. this is gonna be quite a tough thing to place I don't want it here either but maybe here Height too high. 
What does height too high mean? I don't know what, what that means. Hmm. Maybe I'll just hotwire this to here. I think that's gonna be it. Hold on. Let's pause this and get some some space. Let, let's uh, move this plaza, I'm gonna say, to here. Okay. Bulldoze that. Get the one-way curvy. Connect it up to there. And now we should have all the room in the world. Space already occupied, height too high. What is the space already occupied with? Is there big by dress? Oh, there's the police station here. Let's move the police station then to... I'm gonna say right here on the corner. Looks like a good spot, as good as any. And why can you not get built here? What does height too high mean? What's wrong with the terrain here? Let's try pulling this a bit farther out of the way and reconnect those poles. Uh, let's just put them right here for now. Uh, I, I don't think that actually connected. Okay. Aha! So I can place it here. Okay. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Let's pause that and reconnect. Actually, the power should be connected. Uh, this guy is going to get bulldozed. Actually, let's bulldoze him right now. Yeah, okay, but everything's connected now. And unfortunately, this bit of track is just dead-ending there. Right into a pillar. Hmm. Okay, this is gonna take a bit of fiddling around, but we can do it. Let's grab the squiggly line. And we're going to go all the way around this and into there directly. Which means we can't we can't go through there, no. But we can go through here. And yeah, I like that. Just underneath the highway. And then I'm actually going to pull it up. Yeah, there you go. And now let's get rid of the snap tool and see if this is actually reasonably close to what we want. Just like that. Uh, that was a bit too far. Also a bit too far. Let's try here. Uh, yeah, I think this will work. And right there. Okay. Okay. This should give the trains a way... Or give the trucks a way to, instead of going all the way around and into this district, I'm going to get rid of this. To go all the way around, stop at this uh, cargo train terminal and let the train take the, mer the merchandise up to here. And from here they can flow out wherever they want. I think I can get rid of this. I think. Let's just rebuild that highway. Uh, give me the squiggly one. Uh, yeah, there you go. And the entrance. Oh, cool. Cool. Okay, wow, that's a lot of buses. Let's see if these guys start adding this thing. And I may actually want some sort of a park here. Uh, park, park, park. 
Maybe the Paradox Plaza. Right there. Yeah, just to compensate for the noise from these guys. Uh, and we can actually take the opportunity to zone some more high density. Yeah, there you go. And let's see if the trucks start using the cargo train terminal to let these guys get uh, get their goods. Now, these things are very similar, so I'm getting rid of a couple of them. Do you remember, I do need your opinion on these skyscrapers here. Um, I'll make an effort, if you really do want them in, I'll still make an effort not to let too many of them... Um, too many of the same type grow too close together uh, but as I've said I I'm not too sure if this looks good or not uh, I don't have any problems with this sort of stuff like uh, usually in, in Europe there's like a old buildings that have been there from since the 19th century and then new ones just pop up there are some places that are protected like, you can't build uh, skyscrapers there because the whole area is uh, uh, historical or something. But uh, I'm not going with that. I may have a district where... Uh, hey, look at this, for instance. A, a central university here with lots of old buildings around. Maybe this guy really doesn't belong here. Yeah, this guy doesn't belong here. And this may be a, an old district. Uh, yeah, yeah. This could be the historical center here, and the rest, you you can see that there there's uh, new stuff happening. Okay, I still haven't seen a train... Oh, there goes one, and the trucks seem to have no problems at all. Okay, okay, that's, uh, that's all well and good. Perfect. We're still getting some more demand for industry, although I am worried unemployment is at an all-time low so I think I think oh god uh, I think we need more power Scotty why didn't you tell me about this earlier goo uh, yeah and these things these parks really don't have a road connection so they have just a humongous crime and <laughs> and garbage pile up uh, okay we're getting low demand for residential zone which I I think that we need oh we're getting a death problem and the land value is too low the land value is just too low okay we're gonna have to get some cemeteries going oh this thing this place isn't covered at all oh can I Oh yeah, right, that's a, a tunnel. Why is this a tunnel? Oh, to, to allow for parking space. Mm, okay, we're gonna have to cram the cemetery. Uh, why can you space already occupied? By what? Oh, by this plaza here. How about somewhere else, like here? <coughs> here seems like a... A pretty cool place. Yeah, you can't quite reach this region here. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Hmm... Where can I cram another cemetery? Because we want these things to fill up before we resort to crematorium, so we get the, the special buildings. Uh, these guys have no coverage either. What do you say? A cemetery next to the shopping center? I'm not too sure, but we can place it... Uh, well, instead of having these roads here like this, uh, we could make some room for the cemetery. Uh, let's rethink this. Maybe... We'll go up to here. Whoa, what's that? I don't want that. I want this. We can go up to here and here. And this should be enough to place a cemetery in. 
Even a couple of cemeteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should provide decent coverage to these guys. And so these guys should have decent coverage too. Although I don't want to put it put it here because if I want to expand this road and have it wider, it'll be kind of me. Uh, high school, maybe I could... No, not there. Oh, but maybe there. Hold on, hold on. Let's, uh, let's rebuild that to go like that and that. And maybe now we'll have some decent coverage around these parts. There you go. Cemeteries for everybody. I wonder if that increased land value. I think it did, actually. I think it's helping, at least. It's helping the buildings upgrade, and that, at least, increases land value. Uh, there was also some death problems here, in this area, but I'm not seeing them anymore. So that's all well and good. Uh, okay, alright, you know what? I'm going to let this develop, see what happens, uh, check if the footage wasn't corrupted, and I'll be right back. Oh, yes, this guy went away, and also uh, take care of this. Be right back. Okay, people, we are already way over the time limit. We're getting some complaints about lack of customers and uh, stuff of the sort. I've already sorted out this bit, now it looks a, a little bit better. Wow, <laughs> look at that traffic, my god. Uh, so I thought that to end the episode, we would uh, place down some monuments to try and increase land value here and um, leisure, just overall improve the, the city. So what do you say we plop down a couple of these like Fountain of Life and Death? Uh, this looks like a, a reasonable spot, and we can actually even just plop down a couple of trees here and there. I like the this fountain, like a, a little DNA strand thing. It's really, it's really interesting. Um, what else? What else? That's built. A friendly neighborhood park. Uh, we want this in a residential area, ideally. Hey, look. Here's a, a little friendly neighborhood. It needs a park, so why not place down the friendly neighborhood park here? Uh, and I'm hearing lots of dings, which is much better than I than I was hoping for. Uh, let's just connect this up to here. Yeah, and uh, plop down a couple of trees too. Maybe, well, these are ginormous, like... Uh, yeah, kind of like these. Like this, okay. Uh, we're gonna also need... Eh, might as well do something along the lines of this too. Just to keep the place a little bit on the green side. Uh, let's plop down you and you too. Alright, I also added a few trees here close to the highway so that it, it looks a little better. Uh, what else can, can we build? Uh, these guys are a bit more expensive now. However, we do have the official park. Oh, we need something for this. So what do you say? The tax office? Tax office in the industrial zone? I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> Uh, not too sure at all. I think we just need a big park there. So let's grab a park with trees. I think it's this one. Park with trees. Yeah. Ah, crap. Crap. Why is this thing so hoog? Uh, crap. Okay, let's go with a, a plaza with trees. Okay. Actually, there's a couple of things. Oh, right. Those aren't parks. Okay, plaza with trees. Like one here. And maybe let's uh, let's grab one of our custom. Oh no, the custom ones have. Oh no, the custom ones do have uh, similar values to to the regular parks. So for we interchange three by four flower three by four construction site, we can plop down you there. Add ought to add ought to do it. That's the construction site. I 
I had another one. Was it a 2x2 two two container park? There you go. A 2x2 two two container park, which can go right there. And uh, that should... Let's plop down a couple of extra ones, like one here. One there. And uh, let's grab 3x4 construction site. Like one here. Okay. That should help these guys develop. And uh, that's going to be it for today, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember, leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of the show, especially uh, about these buildings right here. We've got the uh, little twin towers thing going and the little triplets thing going here. That's way too much. Uh, and until next time, as always, I have been the Neural, and I hope you have an awesome day.